Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an install of this pre-colored hair from West Kiss Hair. This is 24 inches and 180% density. And this is straight 13 by 4 lace wig. For this install, I'm going to be bleaching the knots. I'm using 30 volume developer. I'm going to be using the shimmer lights to get the orange tint out of the lace after I'm done. And I'm just going to use this pack of BW2 bleach in this mixing bowl that I got from Walmart and this spatula that I got from Walmart as well. And because this hair is highlighted, I'm going to be using the watercolor method to tone the blonde highlights. And I just want to let you guys know that yes, this hair was pre-colored and it was gorgeous. As you can see in the final look, this hair is absolutely beautiful, pre-colored so you don't have to worry about messing anything up. If you just want some highlights, super, super cute. I definitely recommend this hair. So I'm just taking that big bucket and I'm filling it up with water. This is hot water. And I just put a few squeezes of the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo in there. And I'm just going to dip the hair in there a couple of times. I think I left it in there for about two to three minutes. Not very long at all. And that just toned the highlights to make them look a little bit better. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you guys know I have been going to a lot of different hairstylists to do my hair and also if you see my videos as well. I've been going to a lot of different hairstylists to get my hair done professionally but I decided that I'm so tired of spending my money and not being satisfied and spending like over $100 for something that will last like three days. So I've decided to try to learn how to do my own hair and make it look like the professional. So I've been studying so hard on how to do these lace wig installs. So you guys will be, see me on here practicing um, in some future videos. I'm going to get this down. Like watch and see the next three months. I'm going to be, my hair is going to look like Eric and Tay did it. Watch and see. So <laughs> I did the ball cap method with the got to be glue free spray. And while that dried, I did go ahead and blow dry the wig out. I did pluck the front. I wish I had plucked it some more, but that is one of um, my weakest things when it comes to wigs is plucking. I get so tired and so lazy, but next time I'm going to make sure that I pluck enough to make sure that that hairline looks really good because that's very important when it comes to the install of the wig. So now I'm going in and I'm going to straighten the top of the hair. Um, all of the hairstyles I've been to do this step and it works. Like this is just like the most magical step, the most magical process ever is making sure the top of that wig is flat. So this is just some um, smoothing balm. I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, just a random one that I got from the beauty supply store. I don't recommend that one. It does not smell very good at all. But yes, I'm using this and I think it's called a wax stick. That's what it's called. I'm using that to make sure that it's super flat. And as you can see, like look how flat that is. Like, especially here, like compared to the other side that I haven't used the hot comb on. You can see that that is flat, flat. So now I'm going in and cutting off the excess cap. And I'm going to make sure that it's really close to my forehead as much as possible. And I think next time I'm going to try it with the got to be glue gel, like the actual gel instead of the spray. The last hairstylist I went to, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have saw that hairstyle that I had. It was a side part. Um, it was beautiful. I'm actually going to put a picture here of how it looked. It was literally one of the best installs I have ever had but guess what as soon as I went to her she's moving so I'm like you know now I really have to figure out how to do this myself because she's moving now like my hairstylist is gone yes so she used the got to be glue gel when I went to her so I think next time I'm going to use the gel instead of the spray and also another thing you guys see me putting this foundation on my head to you know make it blend with my skin tone this is a liquid foundation i'm not going to use a liquid foundation next time because as soon as i started putting the wig on like when i put the gel the glue gel on my forehead the wig kept started pushing back 
So next time I'm going to use powder foundation and I'm not sure whether it was the foundation that I used that made it start sliding back or if it was the um, spray that I used. Maybe I didn't let it dry enough. I'm not quite sure but you guys will see once I start gluing it down that the wig cap was sliding back which made for the install not to be so good because you can actually see the wig cap up under the um, wig. So and also next time I plan to use real glue instead of the got to be glue gel. I thought that I was going to be able to finesse it with the got to be glue gel but I really think that using the stronger glue makes for a better wig install. And here you can see that wig cap is like all the way slid back. And I'm sitting there like what am I going to do? Like I was like I do not want to start this whole process over so I just decided to pull that wig down and pretend that that did not happen. <laughs> so yeah next time when you guys see me do a wig it's going to be using the real lace glue and I did do two layers of the got to be glue gel So here you can see like it doesn't look half bad like especially this first day like I went out the next day and it was looking a little like suspicious or whatever but as you can see like the hairline looks pretty decent I think for my first time trying to follow like it's like been my second time like my second time trying to follow all the steps that you know the hairstylists um, that I've been to have done I think I did a pretty decent job and that's why I know like with some practice I might be on to something because as you can see like the hairline looks pretty decent it's you know melted pretty well like it's not perfect that's for sure but I think it went pretty well I'm gonna go in and straighten the hair now. I'm using this Beyond the Zone serum and I saw Slate by Jordan use it so I was like that means I need to be using it too and then this is a fun process because I'm actually using a new flat iron and I saw Slate by Jordan use this flat iron so I was like okay I need that flat iron as well so I'm just going in and just straightening the hair all over. time for baby hairs and I just did like a few like just a little three on each side and one side came out better than the other I know that's definitely gonna take some practice because baby hairs that's a serious process like that is the one of the most important parts about the lace install is how those baby hairs look so one side turned out pretty well and the other side turned out okay and the um, gel I used was the Eco Styler Gel, the green bottle. And all products will be listed down below since um, I did not show a lot of the products that I used in this video.
So as you can see, I was not playing with this side. Like those are actually pretty cute. Like if I must say so myself, but the other side was a little weak, but that side turned out pretty cute. So I did lay those baby hairs down with a wrap strip and I defined the part and now it's time for like the big reveal. This is how it turned out. It's like pretty cute like definitely you can tell I'm a beginner but like I said with some practice I'm gonna be like arrogant telling y'all like I'm gonna have a new hairstyle every week and y'all are not gonna be able to tell me anything. So I want you guys to follow along with me practicing because a few videos are coming of me practicing and you guys can tell me how I did down in the comment section below. I really want to hear your honest opinion on how you think I did. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out West Kiss Hair. All the information for this hair will be down in the description box so definitely check it out and make sure you leave a like and a comment and I will see you guys in my next video.